Hey guys, this is Tech Extreme, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install macOS High Sierra onto a virtual machine using VMware on Windows. So let's get started. So step one, install WinRAR if you haven't it already. I have it in the description below. Step two, extract macOS High Sierra using WinRAR. And once that's extracted, you just extract all to new, which you can also get in the description below. Using this and just clicking that. Once that is extracted, you have to install VMware Player also in the description. Jeez, there's a lot of things in the description this time, isn't there? So a prompt will come up. Click yes and just wait for it to load up. So you'll get a prompt like this, just click next. Accept the license agreement, click next again. This is optional, I'm not gonna do it because you don't really need it. Click next, 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 and install. Once that is finished up, you can click finish. And what we have to do now is open this folder we made called all tool new. Open it up, open up the new folder, and then just extract the patch tool using WinRAR again. Once that is extracted, open it up, unlocker 208. Right click on win hyphen install and click run as administrator. Click yes and let it just patch it. The reason why we're doing this is because VMware on its own actually doesn't support macOS and we have to unlock it to basically unlock the feature but it's kind of just adding the feature. So once that is finished up, what we can do now is open up VMware Workstation 12 Player and just type in our email address because we either have to purchase the license key or enter in our email address. So I'm just going to enter in mine and come back once I have. So once you've entered in your email, just click continue and click finish. So you may get a prompt with this, just click skip this version because it's just asking you to just upgrade to VMware Workstation Pro and that costs money and we don't want to do that. So basically what you have to do is click create a new virtual machine, click I will install the operating system later, click next, click Apple Mac OS 10 and make sure it's selected OS 10 10.11 or if it's available Mac OS 10.12 since they don't have Mac OS 10.13 yet because it's still a developer beta. This is basically what it is. But once the actual version does come out, they'll obviously add it to the list. So click next, click next, next. And click customize hardware. Give it roughly 50% of your RAM, so for me that's 4 gigabytes. Give it 50% of your CPU, so for me that's 2. And just click close. Click finish. And then click edit virtual machine settings again because we're going to delete this hard disk SATA hard drive because we don't need it. So click OK again, then basically open it up again and click add, click yes, click hard disk and click next. Make sure it's selected SATA otherwise it won't work. Click next, use an existing virtual disk, click next again and click browse and go to the area where you've extracted your macOS file your virtual machine disk file so this is where I have it <clears throat> so just put it in there and then just click finish we're nearly done but before we can actually boot up the system we have to go into virtual machines here so to do this we have to go into documents Go into virtual machines, <coughs> click macOS 10.12, 
or whatever you called it and right click on this file here and click open with click more apps click notepad and click ok scroll down go to the very bottom here and type in smc.version space equals space quote zero quote and then just save it and close out of it and once you've done that you can easily open your virtual machine if this prompts you just click ok and then click ok here and as you'll see it will just start to load up so I'm gonna come back once it's finished loading up so now that it has loaded up you'll be prompted with this welcome screen on the screen and you have to select which country you live in for me Mac I... OS contains a built-in screen reader called okay. voiceover if you know how to use voiceover press command we, we, we don't need to, to use voiceover please shush like to learn how to use i beg you to set up your Mac, i'm trying to do a video okay finally <laughs> So just click the country where you're living and just click continue. Select the keyboard layout that you use. For me that's going to be Irish. It's Gaelga kind Torme. So just click next and just click continue. Don't bother clicking on any of those. And here if you have an Apple ID you can type it in here so that you can access the app store and stuff so I'm gonna enter mine in and I'll be back in a minute so now that I've signed in just accept the uh, terms and conditions and pretty much you'll be up and running pretty soon just after two more steps just click OK if it says anything like that because it's it's kind of like a beta so things might not be working as well so now you're on the create a computer account so I'm just going to create mine as tech extreme because I am tech extreme you're the one and only so for my password I'm going to choose le numre zero le numre zero which means the number zero just in case people didn't understand Right, so now it should just create our account. I'll come back once it has done that. Okay, so more than likely, if you've created your account, you're going to be on this screen where it says Express Setup. I wonder where that got. I wonder where they got that from. Windows 10. Right, so in Express Setup, it will just let you do it really quickly, or you can customize it. For me, I don't really care if they know where I am because I don't really care because who 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 does care if Apple knows where you live? Not as if they're gonna come to your house or anything. Oh, keep in mind, just if you don't want that, you can just disable it. So yeah, you can just disable it if you want. So at the minute, it's just setting up my. Mac. From the looks of it, it thinks my laptop is a Mac desktop. So, yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah. Right, I'll come back once it's on the desktop. So that now, so now you're on the screen, what do you do? Well, what we have to do now is we have to go back into our desktop. So I'm just going to do that now. Go into the desktop, go into all tool new, go into that folder again and extract this using WinRAR and extract the VM tool. It says, hang on, yeah. This archive is either in unknown format or damaged, so that probably means that it's an ISO. So we don't have to worry about that, just skip that skip step. I made a mistake. So what we have to do now is go to player, removable devices, go into CD slash DVD SATA and click settings. 
Once you're on this screen, click Use ISO Image File, click Browse, click Desktop or wherever you have it extracted, click All Tool, All Tool, New, and click VM Tool. After that, just click OK, and it will just load up onto the virtual machine. So once it has, just double click on VMware Tools like so. And wait for it to load up and once that is loaded up double click install vmware tools and just wait for it to load up Okay, so now that it's loaded up, just click continue, install, and basically it's going to ask you for your password before it installs, so you'll have to type it in. For me, it is la nombre zero, the number zero, so we'll just type it in and then click enter. Funnily enough, I have this kind of, what would you call it? Apple keyboard kind of copy cat kind of a thing. So that's what I'm using to kind of do this because well, As you can see it has the uh, command button. Where is it? The command button there, so It's going to make it easier for me So once that has actually installed, sorry I got interrupted so it might be a little bit jittery there after the editing because I, my dad came in to me and I don't want his voice in the video so once that is finished just click restart and I'll be back once it has finished restarting okay so it has now restarted and you may get an error like this which says that this new system extension signed by VMware was trying to be loaded and it was blocked so basically this is kind of a security feature that comes with Mac OS High Sierra so basically what we have to do because obviously the tools aren't actually being loaded we have to actually enable them manually so you have to log in first of all and once that is logged in I'll be right back so now that is loaded up what we have to do now is we have to go into system preferences wait for that to load up there okay, so we have to go into security and privacy okay so now that is loaded up just click allow where it says system software from developer vmware infusion was blocked from loading just click allow and that's all you have to do so once you've done that just click on this apple logo here and click restart untick this and just click restart i'll be back with you once it has restarted okay so now that is finished loading up just put it in full screen and as you can see it actually takes up all your screens real estate so just type in your password for me it's lenum Okay, so now that is finally loaded up, you've successfully installed Mac OS High Sierra onto a virtual machine on VMware. So if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, dislike, comment down below what you thought, and I hope to see you in the next one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Tech Extreme signing out.